Hey, this is Drew Bennett from Ben Spark Family Adventures back with another Fortnite video. Now, if you would like to earn the Social Butterfly uh, career milestone uh, there, um, meet every character in Chapter 3, Season 3, I'm going to give you a hand with that. So, we are going to go take a look at the collection of all of the characters. And you can see, uh, in this season, there are 25 characters to find off the first couple weeks. So I'm going to show you exactly where to find each one of these. And please understand that some might change throughout the season. And if they do, I will make an updated video where the characters are if they have changed. So be on the lookout for that. Don't ask me in here where they are at week 11, because it's going to be different, possibly. So, I have made other videos, newer videos, they will be in here. They might even be linked above. I don't know. But uh, I find people at the 11th hour like, this is the last one I need to find. It's been 11 weeks. Come on, man. Find them. Uh, so, <laughs> I, I know I know, not everybody's a completist like me, and they want to, you know, they take their time. But I like to go and find them all, and I will show you them. The first character that we're going to find is Lil Whip, character number one. Whipped up and ready to serve. Lil Whip borrowed a lot of bars to create his new rap EP. If he doesn't start moving records or cones quickly, he'll be uh, in a sprinkle of trouble with his benefactor. So the character of Lil Whip is found in the ice cream shop over here. And you talk to him and uh, you could buy a shield fish for 145 uh, gold, a slurp mushroom for 50 gold, or activate a prop disguise for 75. So again, it is... Uh, I guess this is the prop disguise that you can you can have is a uh, mailbox. Strange, but that's Little Whip, and uh, he's found at Coney Crossroads. And if we look at the map here, right here, character number two is Rustler. Scuff up your boots, saddle up, partner. Rustler's the finest livestock wrangler steel farm has ever seen, and she's lending her beast wrestling abilities to help you tame the islands wildlife. So outside of Shifty Shafts, usually walking this trail out here is Rustler, and from her you can purchase corn, meat, or a harpoon gun. And um, if you want to take a look where she is on the map, she's right there. And that's, uh, that's Rustler. So let's go on to the next one. Character number three is the Paradigm. Her allegiance is unknown, one of the seven. Welcomed back to the Seven after a long, painful exile, Paradigm is focused on reconnecting with her teammates and rediscovering her passion for building cool tech. The Paradigm can be found at Seven Outpost 2, which is above uh, Logjam Lumberyard. You can buy a DMR or a repair torch or some grenades. And to find her, you go to the map, and that is right there. Character number four is the scientist. His mission is unknown, one of the seven. Things are peaceful, in, in the scientist's opinion, maybe a little too peaceful. He's just gonna double check his zero point physics calculations real quick. Don't worry about it. As we head over to the main building of Synapse Station where the battle bus is, we find the scientist. Now he was here last season as well. You can activate a rift with the scientist, you can buy a coconut, or you can reveal a future storm circle. And if you want to see on the map, he's right here. Character number five is the origin. His reality lives on, one of the seven. What does a decorated field general do in times of peace? The origin isn't really sure. He'll keep patrolling until he figures it out. So here at seven outpost three is where you can find the origin now. So here's the origin. You can buy from him a harpoon gun, a combat SMG, or a med kit. And that is located, if we look at the map, right here. And that is the origin. Character number six is the visitor. Intentions unknown. As the visitor puts down roots and finds peace in the, on the island, he finds himself asking, could his visiting days finally be over? Could he finally become the permanent resident? The visitor can be found at the launch pad. So at the launch pad island, find the visitor. He can activate a rift. You can buy the boom sniper from them. That's 600 gold. Or you can reveal a future storm circle. So those are some of the things that you can do with the, uh, with the visitor. And the visitor, if you want to take a look at the map, 
He is right here. And uh, I use the storm circle thing so I can go right there. Character number seven is Sunbird. Fly in light and eclipse the sun. As astronomer for the ages, Sunbird has arrived on the island determined to continue her complete mapping of the stars in the universe. It'll take a while. There's a lot of them. Sunbird can be found at the temple. Talk to her. Uh, you can buy the shadow tracker. You can buy the ranger assault rifle or some shockwave grenades. So the shadow tracker is only 400. I think I have it. I'm going to buy it. And to find her, right here. Did I just buy two of these? I did. I bought two. Good. Glad I did that. Character number eight is Guaco. Stay crunchy. Guaco's coming. Guaco's rebuilding tacos from the shell up. Better than ever before. The guac is chunky. The carne asada is premium. And the new drink machine has 57 flavors. I wonder if Guaco is going to add a mushroom taco to the uh, to the uh, menu because we got plenty of mushrooms around here. So Guaco can be found in the lower half of the taco shop, as we have now an upper and lower half because of the giant mushrooms that have been added here. So if we find Guaco, he's right here by the cash registers. Talk to him. You could buy a shield keg. You could buy a two-shot um, shotgun. And you can also buy meat from him. So there you go. And uh, if you want to take a look at the map, Glocko is right there. Character number nine is Mancake, forged on a griddle of rage. Teaming up was fun, but Mancake re reckons it's time to return to his lone wanderer days. Just him, Josie, and the open road, sticky with the sweet maple syrup of possibility. Mancake has now taken up permanent residence, or at least for the, for the time being, over at Rocky Reels. He must have enjoyed his time over at Rocky Reels in his little, uh, little place over there underneath the screen. But when we find Mancake, you can challenge Mancake to a duel. That's all you can do with Mancake at this point. Uh, so we could challenge him to a duel. And try to get the weapons that aren't that great from him. And I'll probably get third party shot here. Or killed by Mancake, I don't know. Alright, well, I won the duel. Mancake was defeated. And if you want to find him in the map, we are right here. Character number 10 is Bow Bros, steamed up and ready for action. Regarded as a hero amongst the loopers, business is booming for Bow Bros. Ste stop by and try Condo Canyon's newest favorite restaurant. When we find ourselves in Condo Canyon and at the Canyon Plaza, if you go over to Bow Bros Restaurant, and there's where we find Bow Bros. And you can buy a cabbage from him, you can buy a firefly jar, you can buy a shield fish. So I'm going to buy one shield fish from him. And I'll be fully shielded. And to find him in the map, just head here, right where I am. And there's Bow Bros. Character number 11 is the Imagined. Her past is the key to our future, one of the seven. What identity crisis? The Imagined know, knows that her mysterious past could remain mysterious forever. And she's fine with it, totally, unless you've heard something. So the Imagined can be found at 7 Outpost 5. You can find her, you can buy a hammer assault rifle, you can buy a shield keg, and the ever popular tipping of the bus driver, a small tip. So we can give this bus driver a small tip, and there she is. You can take a look at the map, and she's right here. And that is the imagined. Character number 12 is Cuddle Team Leader. Hug it out. Cuddle Team Leader has been many things to many people best friend, soldier, team leader. These days, she fancies herself a roller coaster designer. You ready to strap in? So as you can see, the roller coaster bears a striking resemblance to Cuddle Team Leader, and that is probably why Cuddle Team Leader fancies herself a uh, roller, roller, uh, I mean, roller coaster designer at this point. And she can be found straight down below the main roller coaster 
right down here. So if you talk to her, you can uh, get a disguise, you can get some fireflies, and you could buy the six shooter, uh, the marksman six shooter. All right. And that's how you find her. And just so you know, she's right here. Of course, I stuck, hung around too long and got shot. Character number 13 is Stashed. No one said being fresh was easy. Nobody drives a getaway car like Stashed. Currently, he's more like a really, really fast chauffeur. But he knows cars, and he's got the gears to prove it. So we're going to find Stashed at none other than Chonker Speedway. So we find Stashed. You can buy a vehicle mod, the Cow Catcher. We could buy off-road tires. And you could also hire Stashed. So let's hire Stashed to be part of our crew and let's get on out of here now you want to find him on the map there he is character number 14 is haven raised by the island born to defend it this is not the island haven remembers the natural world feels out of sync none of the plants or animals look the same and why have the colombos left haven can be found down here by the zero point by the reboot van in this location here at Loot Lake. So you could buy a Rift to go, you can buy a Clawberry, or you can hire Haven to be uh, your travel buddy. So let's hire Haven. And if you want to know where she can be found, right here. Character number 15 is Jonesy the First. Now, please understand that he doesn't show up every single time at the Joneses, but he does show up. You just got to keep trying. Never forget your first run. The battle may be over, but Jonesy's still still the first, and as the first, he's leading the loopers in uh in something. Well, he'll find his thing. Maybe gymnastics. No? Jonesy the first can be found at the building that is directly next to the cornfield, and you can buy from him the chug splash, the dub, or you can hire Jonesy the first. I'm going to buy the dub, and I'm going to hire Jonesy. So he's now part of our team. And if you want to know what Jonesy's building is, it's right here. Character number 16 is Ludwig. Again, Ludwig is like Jonesy the first in that he doesn't show up every single time at the Joneses. But you have to keep trying and he will be there. Best of the worst. Ludwig's developed a taste for combat, just in time for the greatest battle of his lifetime to end. Now he'll fight anyone, except the brat. There is no sense in spoiling good sausage. Ludwig can be found at this red building near the firing range. And we can talk to him. You can buy meat or the dub, or you can hire Ludwig. I only have so much uh, gold, but I'm going to hire him. And let's see. You can see right here, that is where he is at. And that's where Ludwig is. Character number 17 is Bunker Jonesy. Bunker Jonesy shows up every once in a while at the Joneses, just like Jonesy the First and uh, Ludwig and also uh, Mullet Marauder. Um, debunked. Bunker Jonesy's a survivalist now. If he can make a camp out of sticks, shoes, and out of bark, and a fishing rod out of one uh, very shiny button, he'll never get trapped in a bunker again. Bunker Jonesy can be found near this RV. Uh, and you can buy a fishing rod from him, you can buy a tent from him, and you can hire Bunky, Bunker Jonesy, Bunky Jonesy, <laughs> Bunker Jonesy to help you out. Uh, especially since this is a rather busy spot, uh, it's nice to have ourselves a little bit of help when we are uh, traveling and exploring and trying to stay alive. And you can see Bunker Jonesy is usually right around this area. Character number 18 is Mullet Marauder. And just like Jonesy the First and Ludwig and Bunker Jonesy, he shows up at the Joneses, but not every time. You have to keep trying. Totally, totally radical. Mullet Marauder is finally, finally throwing himself into making his dream come true. That's right. You're looking at the star of the island's next big celebrity workout tape. So the building right near the one that Jonesy the First in uh, first is in 
as Mullet Marauder. And with Mullet Marauder, you can buy Med Mist, the Dub, or you can hire Mullet Marauder to be part of your crew. So let's hire the Mulleted One to be part of our crew. And he also has some rockin' tunes here in his house. And if you want to see where he's at, you just take a look here on the map. And he is at this house here. So Jonesy is here. Mullet Marauder's here. You can usually find Bunker Jonesy here, and you can find Ludwig here. Character number 19 is Metal Team Leader. Now, Metal Team Leader can be found at House Past Reality Falls, and it's the same place where you find um, Cuddlepool and also Quackling. They don't show up every single time. You have to drive, you have to fly down several times in order to get all three. Just keep trying. They're there. Totally metal. It's time for Metal Team Leader to understand peace. Embrace tranquility. Experience the serene stillness of quietly resting by the seaside. Back down to the Shroom Chalet. This time, we're going to meet Metal Team Leader. Metal Team Leader can be found on the second floor of the building. You can buy the Striker Pump Shotgun from Metal Team Leader, the Shockwave Grenade, or you can hire Metal Team Leader to be part of your team. So. I'm going to hire Metal Team Leader. I don't know who they're shooting at because I didn't see anybody. Character number 20 is Cuddlepool. Cuddlepool can be found at a seaside house near in the same house as Metal Team Leader and Quackling, but she doesn't show up every single time. You have to fly down multiple times to try and find her. She is there eventually. Ferociously Furry. At this, all this talk of peace makes Cuddlepool feel itchy. What's a rude superhero to do without a villain to fight or a war to win? She'll have to start um, setting cars on fire or something. Past Reality Falls, there is a lodge, and this is where we can find Cuddlepool. And we can buy from Cuddlepool the shockwave grenade, a sidearm pistol, and you can hire Cuddlepool to help you out. So we're going to hire Cuddlepool to be part of our team. The location for Cuddlepool and Metal Team Leader and Quackling is this building right here, out past Reality Falls. Character 21 is Quackling, and just like Metal Team Leader and uh, Cuddlepool, she shows up at a uh, lodge that's past Reality Falls, but she doesn't show up every single time. You have to fly down multiple times to find her. Quack in action. Quackling's planning a fabulous trip around the island. Can't you picture it, Ducky? Wind in your feathers, sun in your beak, the ocean's tickling your scaly webbed toes. So inside the house, we find Quackling. And talk to Quackling. Quackling, you can buy a legendary Stinger SMG. You can buy Shockwave Grenade, or you can hire Quackling. And so we're going to hire Quackling. Character number 22 is Kyle, friend of the trees, most of them anyway. The island's favorite lumberjack is ready to help the rebuilding efforts. He's excited to use all these new exotic trees, so get ready for a lot of weird rocking chairs. So here in the stacks of lumber, we find Kyle. You can buy a tent from him, you can also buy the chug cannon, and you can buy an apple. So that is Kyle, and that's where you can find him. And you can say, go to the map, and he's right there. So usually found in the warehouse act, uh, section. Or like, I don't want a warehouse, but you know, where all the wood stacked. Character number 23 is Cryptic, Master of Mystery. Cryptic is a collector of sorts. He's interested in your curios, relics, artifacts, and collectibles, especially if they're imbued with dark magic. Uh, I mean regular magic. Inside the Rave Cave is where we're going to find Cryptic. So he's wandering around inside the Rave Cave. Uh, you can talk to him. You can buy a heavy sniper from him. You can buy a, um, a repair torch, or you can buy some med mist. So uh, that's where he is. And if you want to look closer, he's right there. So. That is cryptic. Character number 24 is Fishstick. Now, I thought Fishstick was dead because of the Fortnite vs. Um, uh, Batman comic, but maybe that was just an impression of Fishstick. So, keep far away from the Maki Master. The greatest Atlantean warrior is here to defeat the IO. Sure, he's extremely late. 
Some might say he missed the whole battle. In fact, everyone would say that except Fishstick. Now, what better place could we have for Fishstick to be than Stick's restaurant here in Sleepy Sound? You could find him usually in the kitchen. So, we talked to Fishstick. You could buy a jellyfish, you can buy a pro fishing rod, and you can hire Fishstick to be somebody to work with you. So, let's hire Fishstick. And Fishstick, as you can see, can be found here on the map in this building. Character number 25 is the Foundation. His mission is everything, leader of the seven. The Foundation led the Loopers to victory. No cost was too great and no strategy too bold. Though in retrospect, maybe the big statue was a bit much. All right, so let's go find him. He is at seven outpost seven. So here I am at seven outpost seven. He has moved from the sanctuary to here. And we can go talk to him. So you can buy a striker burst rifle from him, a cow catcher, or some off-road tires uh, from him. So, and he's asking if I have something to report. I do not. And that is where you find the foundation, the last of the characters in this uh, in this guide. Uh, if you are looking to find anything else, uh, if you've noticed that somebody has moved, let me know. I will find them and I will make a new video. Anyway, this is Drew Bennett from Ben Spark Family Adventures. You can find me on Instagram and Twitter as Ben Spark, Facebook.com slash Ben Spark Family Adventures. And you can find me here making videos all the time. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, want to let you know that there is a new item uh, in the item shop, a special bundle, the Fortnite Rogue Alias Pack. It's for $3.99. You get 600 V-Bucks. You get Mijun the Outfit, the Alpha Cylinder Back Bling, and Tactical Geom's Pickaxe. So that that's pretty cool for $4. Um, that's awesome. So I am supporting my buddy Redbeard Bart, so I'm going to make that purchase and add that to my um to my locker and i've now added minjun to my uh locker i'm going to equip that character i mean to equip the back bling and also the tactical geomes and i also get 600 v bucks right off the bat that's a pretty good deal if you are making a purchase in the item shop please consider using my supporter creator code which is benspark96 thanks again